Hold on just a second before you download that update. I'm going to show you how to do it without deleting your entire Mass O-Tool database. Stick around. Before you get started, it's very important that you have your machine turned off before you do anything with these motors. Very important. I'm starting with the X motor here. All right, so yours may or may not have this little extra wire here. So don't worry about that if you don't have it. So we just switch the one and the four to the down position and put the Now we'll move back to the B motor, which is on the right side Y rail. All right. This is the B motor. And once again, you may not have that wire. So, so once again, we're just moving the number one and the number four switches to the down position and replace the cover. All right, now we're at the A rail, which is the back of the left wire rail. Put one down and number four down. All right, let's get the Z motor, and we'll be through with these. There we go. You can see the dip switches right there. All of those are up, so we gotta go down, and number four, down. All right, let's go over to the Masso, make some changes over there, and we'll be through. All right, so I booted up the Masso, went to the F1 screen. Now we're going to reset the resolution in these axes. We'll just start up here at the X. You'll see right there, mine has 400 for the pulses per revolution. We need to change that to 2,000. Save. Y axis, same thing. Save. Z. Two thousands. Save. A. Two thousand save and the B is slaved to the uh, Y axis, so you don't have to worry about that. When, when we change the Y, it changed the B automatically. So there we go. So now we're going to home it, make sure everything works like it should. Put my F2, double tap. That does sound quieter. The Z still sounds the same. Let me park it and see what it sounds like when it's going fast. And that's all there is to it. Uh, and I want to let you know I did contact Onefinity before I made this video to confirm that this is a legit method to do this stepper motor resolution upgrade without deleting your entire Masso tool database. So 
it's safe to do it this way. Just follow the instructions as, as I showed you in this video. So hopefully this video will save you a lot of trouble and keep you from having to reload, re-enter all of your tools in your Masso tool database. That is a pain. Uh, so if you're new to the channel, be sure and subscribe below. I have tons of great videos to help you get your machine set up and running the right way. So maybe you can learn from my mistakes. Have the link right up here. And thank y'all for watching. I'll see you on the next one.